After winning the Dakar in the previous year with the well-proven Dakar vehicle, Nasser al changed team and is now driving a car he's not very happy with. While his teammate is getting on well in second position and catching the leader, al decided on stage 9, after he had problems with the car again, to abort and to fly home. This story happened 12 years ago. In 2012, al changed from VW to Hummer, and while his teammate Robbie Gordon was doing well, al stopped and flew home at the ninth stage. Now, 12 years later, in 2024, same story. al Dakar did not go as planned. He is furious about the bad reliability of his BRX Hunter and already went home. But what happened? Nasser al is a successful sport shooter and rally raid driver and was part of the Toyota team until last year. He is very talented, experienced and his big advantage is that he grew up in the landscape where the Dakar rally currently takes place. So he can read the sand and dunes like no one else. Due to temperature, wind and sometimes rain, the dunes are changing and al can already tell just by the color of the dunes how to tackle them and which shape they will have on the other side. Other competitors who didn't grow up in this area need long time to gain this experience. So not only for that reason, al is a very successful driver, especially in the Saudi landscape. Also, in the past years, he said that because of his driving style, he has less breakdowns with his cars. Now, for this year, he was joining ProDrive with their BRX Hunter in a three-year contract. 2024 is supposed to be the learning year before Dacia comes in and it turns into a factory team, basically relabeling the BRX Hunter. So, al was winning the last two Dakar rallies without any major technical issues. He was driving the well-proven and very popular Toyota Hilux. The South African design car is easy to drive, very reliable and had a pretty soft suspension setup, which leads to less tire failures than their competitors. The BRX Hunter, on the other hand, is a different animal. Check out my video about the BRX Hunter to learn all about its special design. So, the Hunter is designed in England, where you don't have the Dakar landscape in front of your door. The basic design is good, the bodywork is a huge compromise, but the Hunter, just like the Audis, had many tire and suspension failures in the past. So what happened at al first Dakar with the Hunter? On stage 3 he had 3 punctures, but just 2 spare wheels, so he kept on driving and damaged the rear left suspension. That was the first little dip. He didn't have these many punctures with the Toyota. The BRX Hunter has an anti-row bar at the rear axle like a circuit race car, increasing force on the outboard wheel in a corner. The Toyota doesn't have this. On stage 6, al front left upright broke after a, as he described it, smaller impact. So he was sitting in the desert, waving to Lerp flying by and waiting for the service truck. This was when his mood changed. On stage 8, he had to stop with engine failure and couldn't get going again. Now his language changed. al said that he isn't enjoying this year's Dakar, because he always has problems with the car and they need to talk about the future. The next day, stage 9, al had problems with the rear suspension again after just a few kilometers. He aborted the stage and gave a statement saying that he will not jump back into this car again. And he only came to say goodbye. He learned something for his life and this will never happen again. After this, he was flying home. He said, if he would be someone else, it would be okay. But since he's al this is unacceptable. So what will be next for al The Dacia works car next year will probably be pretty much the BRX Hunter underneath and he ruled out to drive this car again. He has a three-year contract and what will he say if his teammate is winning the Dakar 2024 in a BRX Hunter? So could he be a driver for X-Rate again? Or a century? Or will he go back to Toyota? Hopefully he didn't burn all bridges there. What do you think? Let me know in the comments below and see you in the next video.